Okay, sweetheart, so how are we doing with uh, sunglasses? Are they clean my this time around? My sunglasses are cleared off and I have changed my hairstyle to be more intense sweat friendly. A braid, I recommend it to the ladies. Okay, so one thing, if you choose to wear a braid, a small warning. If you are also carrying a child, they may grab said braid and then all bets are off. So I'm definitely cooler, but I might get a yank back. You know, this is our second attempt at this one. The first time around, uh, I used continuous mode for videoing on the last quarter mile, so we didn't get any of the audio, so we're just redoing it again since it's a quick 2.1 mile loop. So, we're Hey guys, it is Kevin and Toby, and we're out here with Lucy and Addison today at Manassas Battlefield. And so we are gonna do uh, the fifth trail on the Manassas series. It is Henry Hill. It's about two miles, maybe a little bit less than two miles, and uh, should take us uh, pretty quickly around the trek. It's about 6 p.m. in the evening right now. I'd say it's probably 90 degrees outside, and this is the last trail. All right, so as we get going here, you come right off of the Henry Hill Visitor Center that sits up front there, and we're going straight out into the field. So this one's gonna take you straight along the tree lines back here. You're gonna cut through the tree lines. It'll take you into some coverage, and then uh, we'll loop back around. Like I said before, it's less than two miles, so it's a pretty good one. And it's uh, fa fairly flat like all the rest of them here in the park. And I realized on the last video, I said we'd never do this in the summertime, but here we are finishing up this series. We wanted to get it done so that we could get this out and get it published. So I think this one's gonna be a good one. It is a little bit hot out today, but uh, I think we'll be fine. There's a little bit of a breeze every now and again, and the cloud cover is coming in. So uh, we're gonna keep on going. There you go, you heard it first. Since the last time we've uh, cleaned off our sunglasses, I would imagine that it's been, what, 10 trips before you clean them off? I gotta say, I can see so much more. It's really kind of embarrassing how I let them get. Wear a braid, and uh, Addison's pulling me along here, so we're gonna keep on trucking along, but uh, we're starting to cross where the uh, cannons are at, and that's gonna take us down onto the trail. So onward we go. So right off the parking lot, you're gonna just go straight onto First Manassas Trail, and this will uh, veer off. You can go right or left, clockwise, counterclockwise, you'll see it, there's a, a fork in the road here. And the good news is, is we're back under a little bit of canopy cover, but I have a suspecting feeling there's gonna be some areas where it's not. So we're gonna actually do this one clockwise. So we're gonna go left at the fork here, but you could technically, uh, make a right you can see here behind me there's a, a sign for first manassas trail so we're going to go this way though and uh, loop around uh, where the field is first and then we're going to head back uh, around the other way so we'll keep trucking okay so we just came to a fork in the road uh, coming live to you from sweat fest 2023 and uh, sort of we've reached a point where we need to go left or right. And I believe we're going left, down First Manassas Trail. This will loop us around where the river is at and then we'll bring us back around. So we passed about five fields, two on the left, two on the right. There was probably another one on the left or I just can't count, who knows? And uh, then you come to two fire roads and you hop on the second fire road they run in parallel five feet from each other and then uh, just take it down so I'd say we're probably a third of the way through the hike it's really quick to get back here and now we're back under some canopy cover okay about 100 yards down this road you're gonna run right into a nice little stream here so we're gonna let the pup grab some water Lucy appears to still have the reins of Toby, AKA her braid, and uh, we'll keep on moving, but this one connects right into Bull Run, and uh, it's definitely great, uh, but there is a little bit of a water crossing here, as you can see, so you just have to play hopscotch across the rocks to get across, or you can get your feet wet, either way, it'll feel good. Oh, no, wait, 
I take that back as Toby's pointing over. There's a bridge. So there's a bridge. Thank you, sweetheart, for that. I guess the... that's if you go left on that first fire road instead of the second one. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's through the woods back Don't there somewhere. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Don't us. Don't listen to me. But there we're is just, a bridge. We're just going to play hopscotch to get across. We'll be fine. Matter of fact, it probably might feel good to put my feet in the water. So, okay, we'll keep going. So once you get past the river there, you're gonna take this uh, first cut off, which is gonna loop you around a bull run. Although, I'm gonna check my map and make sure that I'm correct. And as you can see here, we are correct. We've got Gaia GPS open right now. Offline uh, map is downloaded even though I'm in cell coverage and uh, we're just moving along to this trail. So we'll just loop this around and uh, uh, clip back up on the opposite side. So we're gonna get a little bit of a river view and then uh, um, back to the car. So let's keep on going. So we're just headed along on this trail. Just know that uh, there's quite a bit of horses that come through here and there's come some muddy areas. So you're gonna come through some muddy trails. So hopefully we'll finish this one quickly because I'm told that there is some uh, Chipotle on the horizon because I'm starving and we we're just debating if uh, the cookies and milk that I had for lunch yes it's um, not lunch people that's not lunch no, I don't know I think that it's classified if you look at like the calorie counts of it I think you could probably consider it lunch what is the macronutrient breakdown people do you think that meal would keep a grown it's cookie, satiated cookies are so. like a like an entire uh, uh, food group on the food pyramid. Now, remember, this child is made of cookies, is all I wanted when I was pregnant. So I understand cookies being a meal, but maybe like have a little chicken or like a little veggies with it, no? Maybe, 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 maybe. It doesn't, milk cookies and chicken doesn't seem like a very appetizing uh, meal. Okay, so we've reached the point now where uh, you need to right, make a right. So once you come down this trail, about a quarter mile, there's gonna be a fork, you can go straight, you need to go right. And so uh, we're going right. And like I was saying, the trail itself is kind of muddy. Um, it's uh, probably uh, because the Virginia soil is clay and it gets wet. So uh, just know that you're gonna to have to kind of trailblaze your way through, sometimes on the side of the trail and the grass, which also brings us to the other point of make sure you're putting that bug screen on. If you saw trail number one, you saw our fight with the uh, ticks. So uh we are gonna keep moving along here i'd say we're probably almost halfway finished with this one and we'll be back in the car in no time at all and we'll be having chipotle to complement my very nutritious lunchtime meal so we've crossed over the bridal trail and we are Headed down first Manassas, there's a couple bridges we're gonna cross, they're just really small over some creeks. And then we're gonna be crossing back over where we veered off to the left when we first started this trail. So we're just gonna get back on that bad boy and head back to the parking lot. So at this point in time, once you cross that bridal trail, gosh, you're probably a half mile away from the parking lot. It's really short, really flat, and uh, pretty quick over there. So uh, let's keep on going. Okay, and just like that, we are back at the fork. So we are pretty much to the large open field where the parking lot is and uh, within eyesight of uh, where the car is parked. So once again, this number five on the Manassas Battlefield Challenge. It is Henry Hill, starts at the Henry Hill Visitor Center, takes you about 2.1 mile loop around. You can expand it, you can make it smaller if you want. And uh, this is a great one. Check out the maps on Guide GPS, which we posted on our website. And uh, we'll see you on the next hike.